In Luke 13, 23, a man comes to Jesus and asks a very serious question. Lord, are there few that will be saved? Even more sobering is Jesus' response. Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. In a similar passage from Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the path that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way that leads to life, and there are few who find it. As I was driving on Bengali roads, I realized a parallel that these dangerous roads have in common with the spiritual road to salvation. The road to the kingdom of heaven is as treacherous as Bengali roads. The roads are often very narrow, and due to ongoing construction, there's trenches on both sides. The road can be very bumpy, like many potholes that you must evade. Not only is the road itself dangerous, but there are oncoming vehicles like buses and trucks that are trying to run you off the road and into the ditch. All of these are hindrances to making it safely to the final destination. In a similar way, Satan and demons are constantly tempting us to sin, to act according to our fleshly passions. As Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, Be sober, be vigilant, for your adversary the devil roams around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And then there's things like worldly entanglements, money, land, careers, family, possessions. Jesus said these are like a seed falling among thorns, where the cares of this life and the deceitfulness of riches come and choke the word of the kingdom, and it becomes unfruitful. And there can be many other obstacles to our salvation as well, things like persecution, even friends and family, marriages, unforgiveness, many of these things that can pull us off that narrow path that leads to life. All of these things are similar to the, the dangers on Bengali roads. An additional parallel to Bengali roads occurred to me as well. Our view of how difficult the journey will be drastically changes our sobriety while driving. If we think that the drive is easy, we will tend to be sluggish and complacent. But if we expect difficulties, we will be more alert and attentive. Back on American roads, it can be really easy to get sleepy and have a hard time staying awake on the highways. Uh, but here in Bangladesh, I'm almost afraid to blink while driving, uh, especially at faster speeds. So I think after reflecting on these, it's important to ask a question to ourselves. Are we treating our lives as though the journey is difficult, like Jesus taught? Are we living with that sobriety that should come from all these warnings in the New Testament? Because if we're not, I don't know if we are going to make it safely to our destination. I would like to close with an encouraging scripture from Peter, who gives us the sure path into the kingdom of heaven. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5, But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted, even to blindness, and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins. Therefore, brethren, be even more diligent to make your call and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. For so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly 
into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.